How's it? And aloha. This is your aunt, burpee yoga uncle. I do a lot of burpees and I need to fuel myself with some good food. This is a Cantonese ao pak yi. I want to show you how to make it. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe button to help me reach 2000 and uh, follow my journey into everything. I'm going to make a favorite of mine in dim sum when I go to Chinese restaurants for dim sum, which is basically beef tripe. Yeah, I just got a little bit of it. I'm gonna make beef try with dim sum. You know, a little plate costs like almost four dollars where I'm at. So this will give me like three, four. This will give me like three, four plates, man. So let's go to it. Fitness foodies and the fabulous absurd. From burpees to camu, you're never gonna know what you're gonna get from your unk, burpee yoga uncle. So in the boiling water is ginger and star anise and that's it. I only cut half of it because I can't eat that much. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for about five minutes. Just basically uh, blanching it. But that's why we have a thing called ice. This is to make sure that thing stays crunchy. That beef tribe. You see how the tribes are like this way? You want to cut it like this way. Right? From here it's pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to add is cornstarch or if you have potato starch or tapioca starch, any kind of starch. And then we have chicken powder. Oh, they are one to one basically. Sugar. And then uh, you want some peppers in there. I chose the black ones, but you can use the white pepper as well. I like it spicy. And then a pinch of salt. So, salt you can always, you can always add afterwards, right? And then a little bit of Xiaoxing wine. Cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. And then a little bit of sesame oil. And you're gonna mix it. So like I could use a spoon to mix it, but the way they really do it is they use their hands. And that's it. And now we're gonna wait for it to marinate a little bit. And then I wanna add in the rest of the vegetables and then I'm gonna steam it. And that's pretty much the whole recipe, so easy. All right, it's been a hot minute. You know what I mean? And so now, I'm gonna start putting it into the steamer. So if you wanna use peppers, you can do it, which I will. All you gotta do is put it into, yep, that's all you gotta do. And then put in the peppers. I'll put it halfway first. You don't have to do it. And then I'll put in the ginger and the onions. And I'll mix it. And more. And yes, I wash my hands. And there's oil in the bottom, if you saw in the beginning. And then that's it. Time for us to steam. Yeah, no, that's not even cooked yet. We're gonna now steam it. There's something about bamboo in flavor. 
We have those. Yes, we do. We'll open it up. Put it in. Cover it up. Look at that. Time to eat. Look at this. Oof. Now I'm going to try it. Mmm. So good. I have my oxtail soup too. Amazing. I like it peppery and salty. Not really salty, but peppery and savory. Look at that. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. So, so good. And so easy. Oof. Mm. 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 I haven't even done this yet. Mm. And my ginger sauce. 
but this is beyond amazement. I like it very spicy. It is so good. The ginger. Poop. Thai pepper. Ooh. So, so good. And of course, the green onions. So you more rice. They're my favorite. Mm. Just a ginger sauce for the soup. Mm. Too good. That's it. Eating this, this, and this. Bless up.